Hello beautiful people, welcome to this week's episode of What's News. This is honestly my favorite time of the week where I get to come here and tell you guys all of the crazy headlines making the news this week and just fill you in on what's going on. But I want you guys to please make sure you check out 7 Heaven Music's YouTube channel where you can find the full episodes of What's News. And that's where you'll find me every single week, every single Sunday, just giving you guys the updates. Yeah, but we are halfway through October and I hope you guys are doing well. So let's get into everything that's been happening this week. There's been a lot. Can you imagine being so good in your field that people just say it's not humanly possible? You must be doing something else because you can't be that good. Yeah, I need to tell you about one of our Kenyan athletes who just broke um, a marathon world record. So Ruth um, Chepnitich just broke the women's world marathon record in Chicago last week Sunday. And she completed the marathon in two hours and nine minutes, breaking the record that was previously held where an Ethiopian lady actually came in in two hours and 11 minutes, meaning she broke this record by two minutes, right? And congratulations to her, she's done amazing. But yeah, let's get into it and find out a little bit more about her. Okay, so I know you're wondering who is this magnificent lady? Let me tell you, this the Ruth is actually 30 years old and she is completely self-coached, which I think makes this even more amazing. And another thing, she's also won this marathon three times. So she is not new to this. Um, this is her fourth time and obviously her biggest win because she has broken the women's world marathon record. And I think this is amazing because this um, title was held by an Ethiopian lady and obviously now she is the new winner. And let's get into the dicey part, which I think you guys will find really offensive like I did, but you let me know. Okay, in a press conference, there was this foreign journalist and he got up and asked her this question. He asked her, what do you think about people speculating that you are doping? Doping meaning using any kind of drugs to enhance her speed or her performance. Honestly, don't you think that's just offensive? First of all, just to ask, like, why did you feel comfortable asking that question? And for me, I think she handled it like a complete boss. She just told him, you know what, I think people are going to talk, people must talk, because she did accomplish something amazing. But honestly, just imagine being so good that people accuse you of taking drugs to be that good. Hey God, I see what you have done for others. I am here next, please. I don't know if you guys remember, but also when Kipchoge broke his record, they also told him it was impossible and maybe his shoes gave him an unfair advantage. Obviously, they put that to test and he didn't have any magical shoes. He was just that good. And I'm honestly wondering why these guys are always so pressed to ask Africans, especially Kenyans, how they run so fast. Like, I think just because it's been impossible for an American or a European, that has never made it impossible for a Kenyan. You know, Kenyans are known for breaking records when it comes to running and this is just what they do, you know. So if you guys want to send her love, her name is Ruth Chepnyatich on Instagram. You can go and follow her over there and kind of see that she did make that impossible happen. She did beat that record and congratulations to her. All right, the Kenyan world of crypto is actually mourning the loss of one of their success stories. He's a young 25 year old man from Kirinyaga University. His name is Deno Bright. That's what he goes by. He was found dead in his hotel room in Mombasa this week. And it is allegedly, alleged, due to alcohol poisoning. So let's get into this sad story a little bit. Okay, so the world of crypto and Forex is something very foreign if you don't really know how it's done or how to get into it but there have been a lot of successful people who have done it and most times in Kenya we've we've noticed that it's actually young men who are you know up and coming and making this uh, job opportunity something that is actually really big and I think also what people like to look at is the lavish lifestyle that these young men seem to live and this young man who passed away, I think if you go on his Instagram, you can tell he was living really lavishly and people did assume that he does make a lot of money and has been really successful in this field. 
but unfortunately on Tuesday um, this young man was found dead in his hotel room in Mombasa they're saying it's due to alleged alcohol poisoning so actually I wanted to talk a little bit about alcohol poisoning so alcohol poisoning is actually taking a lot more people than most people realize here in this country you know it happens when you drink a lot at a very short period you know in a very short period sorry um, it happens too much of the alcohol is absorbed into your body that cannot be metabolized then it just goes into your bloodstream and for that reason alcohol being a depressant it does slow down you know your your responses and your breathing so it can be very um, deadly you know in a video that was posted online they say that this is from the night before you can see the young man Den O'Bright um, he was unconscious and being carried to bed by his friends who I don't think realized that this could be a very serious situation and you know he they, you could see them carrying him to bed and I think hopefully you know wanting him to wake up the next morning and maybe have a crazy story but that was not to be because it is confirmed that he did pass away that night so a lot of people did come out and say that he was you know a success story who also gave back to the community you know to his university friends and that he was a cheerful giver so i'm sure that he would be missed a lot and um sorry to his family and his friends you know it's it's quite sad to see when a young person goes like this. But yeah, rest in peace to him. If you are a One Direction fan, I know this is a really heavy week for you as you mourn the loss of Liam Payne, who was a member of the group, this huge group, you know, One Direction. And he has passed away, unfortunately. And honestly, the way he passed away was so shocking to me because the 31 year old, right, he actually fell off his balcony in a hotel and he died you know gosh it's a little bit shocking yeah but let's get into it a little bit so witnesses say that he fell um off his third floor balcony at around 5 p.m but people don't really know if he fell or he jumped right and the reason why they don't know is because pictures from that hotel have come back and it was a bit um, alarming, right? Because you could see that the TV was smashed, you know, the room was a mess, it was trashed. And obviously there were like um, illegal substances lying around everywhere. And for that reason, they can't really understand what happened because, especially because, sorry, um, just a few hours earlier, he was on Snapchat looking completely normal, completely sober. You know, calm and collected, looking like everything was fine before everything went down at 5 p.m. later that day, you know. And it's a little bit, um, I think it's really confusing to a lot of his fans. We don't know much yet, but what I do know is in 2021, Liam opened up about, you know, his struggles with alcohol and substance abuse, as well as how it was affecting him mentally, you know, with his depression and having... Um, thoughts you know really bad thoughts of um, harming himself and honestly it's so sad to see it end this way because you know he was like a huge huge star especially in the boy band world and I know a lot of people are so confused as am I I don't know how this happened but yeah rest in peace to him Ian Payne I know you will be missed you know a lot of young girls all over the world were so in love with One Direction and I know right now is a really hard time for them. Okay, so businesswoman Annalisa Mugai actually just revealed that she and her husband have decided to give up alcohol and they have been on this journey for seven months. And the reason that they were doing this is, you know, to focus on their lives and honestly get closer to God. Okay, so let me just tell you guys, I do not know if there's like a wave of people who have been hit with the same um, revelation that they need to give up alcohol. Let me not lie, I am literally one of them. <laughs> this year I said no. And it was for the same reasons, you know, to want to get closer to God and also just to focus on my life. Best decision ever. But I have noticed that it's not a wave, but it's like a decision that a lot of people have come to recently. And if you're one of them, I want to know, please tell me in the comment section and let me know why. Um, because I find it so interesting meeting people who are thinking the same way.
But I think this is also really ironic because Minuha, as the daughter of the founder of Keroche Breweries, you know, which actually does manufacture alcohol, and they were extremely successful from doing that. And, you know, the fact that she's now come out and said for herself, alcohol is a big no. You know, who knows how God works? You know, he works in mysterious ways. But yeah, she said she's given up alcohol and it has been replaced by herbal teas and drinking water. And honestly, girl, same page, exactly the same. Um, but yeah, honestly, a lot of people have made this decision to stop drinking alcohol. And I want to know if you guys have felt a little tug in your spirit that's telling you, put it down. It would be very interesting to know. But yeah, that's it for that. All right, so it's October, so you do know that that is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I would be remiss if I told you to please go for a checkup. Make sure everything is in order. You know, it would be a good thing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate when you guys come and show support. Also, please leave a comment. I would like to know what you guys think. What was your favorite story of the week? And which one kind of resonated with you the most? But yeah, as always, same time, same place. See you next week.